You look like you didn't get a lot of sleep, Dakota. You know Dan? what happened last night? You know, I was just up all night, just trying to get ready for this podcast. <sighs> Boy, that was a yeah waste of time. <laughs> Getting ready for this podcast what, entails the, showing what, what, up and what, sitting down right there. What, what was a, what was a waste of time? Being up all night or uh, or or the podcast? Being up all night's fine. Uh, waking up early is not. Oh wow! Well, I mean, I this is uh, a problem that somebody someone who has children has. <laughs> Man, that's why you have Mandy. Yeah, I w- if I were you, I wouldn't have seen those children in years at this point. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? Why would you even want to see your kid until it's three or four? Well, my kids are both three. I know now, but you should just now be getting back. They shouldn't even know who you are. Really? Just be like, oh, this is this guy that owns the house we live in. Haven't you dated plenty of those women who uh, are now your exes because of the result of that? Uh, Not because of that. Because of not knowing their dad or having dad problems? Uh, You mean girls with daddy issues? Is that what you're saying? That was a really roundabout way of saying that. Uh, Yeah, sure. Yeah, so well, there you go. I'm trying to avoid that. Mm. Look, man. Are we recording right now? (laughs) Based on the mom, yeah, you're fucked. So, <laughs> you know, put in whatever effort you feel like you got to, but expect some shit to go down. Is no, what I'm ma- no matter, <laughs> no matter what. So, you, what you're saying is, is there's uncontrollable. No, it's controllable if it's predictable. Anything predictable is also controllable. Mm-hmm. Why well, just look? Except for the fact that the sun is going to swell. I say it every week. This, all the way out to Jupiter and I say it every three week. and a half billion years and burn us all. What, what, what week is this? 10? Uh, what episode do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's 10. It's episode 10. It's right at the top of the thing you're looking at right now. I do feel like we're unstoppable. Yeah, for sure. I mean, 10 is a good round number. It is. Uh, it is. Actually, it's an even 10 number. 10 commandments, the Bill of Rights. Yep. Uh, it's an even 10 number. 10 fingers and toes. Well, most people do. Well, yeah. Some I mean, people have 11. Uh, not many. I mean, there's some. That is an anomaly, though. You can't. I mean, I've, listen, I've seen a lot of Afghans that had them. <sighs> probably from the radiation, right? Probably. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Good for them. I mean, they could probably palm a basketball better with six fingers. Uh, I mean, for sure. I mean, you imagine their control. Well, they can't shoot. Well, they so definitely can't. That doesn't. That didn't help them out. Do you much. ever wish you had six fingers? No. Really? No, why? Why? So I can get custom fucking gloves made? No, I don't want six fingers. The only thing I've always wanted is to have webbed feet. If you could turn it off and on, that'd be dope. I'd like to just keep. Like, why yeah. would you like not? go go gadget? You don't even see your feet. Nobody even sees them. So if, like, if you take your shoes off in front of a woman for the first time and you got webbed feet, uh, she's gonna leave really? or call the police. It's you gonna be so? one of the two things. Yeah, because you look like a fucking alien. Yeah, but what if she like? What if she dated me because I was a badass swimmer? Yeah, I me mean, maybe if you're Michael I mean, Phelps. That's like built in fans. Yeah. They're, name 10 swimmers in history. Uh, Lockie or whatever his name is. Ryan Lockie. Lockie. Ryan Lockie. Yeah, yeah, the idiot. Yeah. He, he bought uh, a $25,000 grill with his first bonus check. Yeah, he's an idiot. Dope. Um, yeah. Michael Phelps. That's two. Yeah. 20% there. You can yeah. do it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. That's it. Yeah, of course it um, is. Can you Nobody name 10? Nobody gives a fuck about swimmers. Name, well, I mean, but, uh, but do they? I mean, Greg Luganis, Mark Spitz. I don't know a lot of them, but yeah, you yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Those, yeah, well, you got four. So now we're at four together. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're, we're uh, 40 I'm, only, I'm only twice as good as you, which reflects real life too, so. You you think you're twice as good as me? Well, it depends on what we're doing. What we're talking about, yeah. yeah. Uh, waking yeah. up at four o'clock in the goddamn morning. You're mm-hmm. way better than that. You're right. I'll, I'll never, ever do that. You're right. That's why I look tired and you don't. Well, I feel tired after this conversation. Jesus Christ, sucking the life out of me right now. You yeah, need to get amped up, dude. Yeah, listen, I'm I'm there. Let's flip this table over. And yes. and honestly, I'll just let you let you know up front why I probably look tired. Um, as you see, Rebecca over there. Mm, um, yeah, she's a fucking beast. She, she probably she, ran your ass ragged this week. Well, huh? it's not that. She came in and uh, really the only thing I, I loved about life was uh, was sugar. You know, like it's the only pleasure. Oh, so you feel like you got the flu right now, right? And so she uh, came in and she cut me completely off sugar. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like day Mm -hmm. starting Monday. So this is day four. Right. And I feel like shit shoved in. Yeah. It's, are you doing like keto or, or something like that? Or no, I'm just doing no sugar. Carnivore. I mean, that's pretty close. What, are you, what else are you eating? Vegetables and shit? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, vegetables I, are pointless. To and I, I hate vegetables. I told you a lot of times. I, I, tell, point. You have to eat 14 servings of green vegetables a day to get what you need. Tell out. her. I don't have time for that tell bullshit. Her. Tell her. Put it in a pill and I'll take it. See? 
Tell her. I try to tell her that. Cows eat grass. I eat the cow. That I think the makes only, sense to me. I think the only vegetable I should eat is psilocybin. Uh, I'm not sure if a mushroom is a vegetable. It's a fungus. No, it should I be. Know, it's a I don't vegetable. know how it's classified. Is a mushroom is a vegetable? Mushroom a vegetable? Um, I guess I'm even look off that on up, vegetables. Giorgio. Yeah, look that up, Giorgio. Uh, you want to actually do the show? And yeah, let's do the show. Sorry about that. Sorry we got off on that. No, um, well, I've missed you. Wish I could say the same. Um, <laughs> it has been a long week already. Let it's me ask you Thursday. a question. What master do you serve? This is a good question that I think everybody should always ask themselves. Yeah. And you should ask it about other people that are asking you to do things as well. Uh, we, we're at a precipice in this country where every person needs to decide what kind of country they want to live in. Do you want to, do you want to live in the country where uh, uh, things are distributed by the government, right? Because to be distributed by the government, they first have to be collected by the government. And when we say that, we mean uh, mostly economics, right? Uh, means of production, food, things like that. Yeah, seized but, by the government and we're, we're headed there now. I mean, it's, it's a slow build. It's not as, uh, I don't think it's as bad as a lot of the rhetoric and hyperbole you hear right now is, but, uh, the real, the real issue I'm having is that many, many of us, many of you out there in the audience, um, when you decided to pick sides, when you registered as a Republican or a Democrat, you forgot that truth and liberty are the only sides that really fucking matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what letter is at the end of a politician's name doesn't even matter what they say we we're, we're in this it's some kind of uh i don't know what it is it's a, it's like a cult almost where we follow these figures people are unreliable people will let you down you can't trust people with the important things you have to trust institutions you have to trust ideas that's why america exists the idea what? of america is more important the idea that individual liberty is the guiding principle in life is more important than your life. It's more important than mine. But but the thing is, like, but with that means you also like you don't just get your individual freedom without having to do the hard work of providing for yourself as an individual as well. So like you only get as much as you know, like if you don't put in as much work as the the person next to you or your neighbor, <clears throat> then you don't get as much as them. That's of what, course, the, yeah. You know, and that, and that's this the is the problem is... with that's the problem with the society in America. Yeah. It's you. You see it in every other, every other part of American life. When you learn to ride a bicycle, somebody eventually comes and takes off the training wheels. When you learn to swim, somebody takes off the water wings, and then finally they let go, and you have to swim on your own in the deep end. Right. The idea of of socialism as as prescribed by AOC and her ilk uh, is absolute nonsense. Like there's no there, there's no other arena in human life where we expect to be coddled through the entire process. That's nonsense, right? Like, th and this is our entire life we're talking but about. But I think it's either like, but, I, but, but here's the thing is like, and we had this discussion last week about, about um, college loan debt. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing is, is you don't get like, we don't like, you, you can't pick and choose where you want the government to do this for yourself and, and to do something, you know, to take care of you versus not, right? <clears throat> like you don't get, you know, like at no point, like that's where like, I mean, imagine whenever we broke away from Britain. Mm -hmm. I mean, could you imagine those colonies of how nervous they were about what life was going to look like going forward? Right. I mean, and, and sure. So it's like, I mean, things were a lot simpler back then. Like I think you, it's, you, you as an individual provided probably 80 percent of the things that you consumed on a daily basis, whatever it happened to be. And you got some stuff from other people, maybe something for the government. Probably not back then. I mean, so I, the idea, like, we'll talk about this here in a little while about uh, what a transition, not in, in from one political party to the next or one candidate to the next, but a transition in the way we govern in America, what that might look like. It does seem like a very scary proposition to a lot of people. There are a lot of people uh, that are sick and old or children that can't take care of themselves under any circumstances. They have no capability to take care of themselves whatsoever. So you have to account for that stuff. So I think... What you're saying made sense then, but we do have to pick and choose now because we have a finite amount of resources and we have to make the biggest impact possible, right? Yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I I get it on one side of it, but on the back side of it, it's it's kind of like me with the VA, like the government providing health care um, for serving the country. Right. Um, I still, 
I would never rely on the VA. Like I would, no. I would work 10 times over. So like the people who want their families and look at, and these nursing homes, I mean, these nursing homes are not anywhere any of us want to live. No, no. Uh, especially no. the ones that are provided, you know, th- like the way we're taking care of our old, uh, is not the way is not a good way at all. So I don't mm-hmm. think, I think the government has done nothing but proven over and over and over that it can't even do its job. Well, no, the government's right? incompetent, but the government has no, it has no place in, in providing business or services. The government's job is to set regulations and that's it. There, there should be no department of Homeland Security. There should be international laws and agreements that we have. And well, then, of course. And then laws here that are enforced by some kind of institution, but it should certainly not be the government. Well, of course. That stuff. That's absolute not like, look how, look how well TSA works versus clear. Well, of co- yeah, yeah, no I shit. Mean, it's not even fucking close. It's not even close. And I guarantee you that and people I bet you at TSA is are way making, safer. Oh yeah, people that are making f- and global entry and TSA pre check and all that shit. Uh, any anybody that it's uh, that's working at for the government in one of those jobs, they may have some decent benefits, uh, possibly. But if you're working for Clear, you're definitely making more money. I don't but, think there's any but, question. But I think about I think that. before you pick sides, I think you have to ask yourself this. And this is a question. This was a statement that was actually brought up to me at one point. Was I mean, is, is the people, the people you vote for, are they a representative or are they a trustee? They're a representative. That's why it says it in the fucking name. Well, Dakota. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. But that's not, you know, I would, I would, I think it's a question that people should be asking their, their, uh, I mean, do you think that the person you're voting for is actually representing the majority of the people in your area? No. And I don't think they care to either. And that's a problem that we're, that we're dealing with, uh, right now. It's, it's. You know, it, it, it is, I would, I would say that it's like wardens and lords back in the day where, uh, you know, the majority of the population is ignorant and illiterate. So they don't know how to do certain things. So you, they, they felt, and, and I mean, watch Downton Abbey. It seems ridiculous to think of it that way, but the reason all of that existed is to provide employment for all these people that live in this area. That's why it was set up in the first place. But the presumption was these people can't take care of themselves. And these people aren't smart enough to figure out what to do in life. Now, America is supposed to break that mold. America is supposed to be like, you know what? Fuck you, Britain. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our own thing. And you know, it was a great success for a long time until we started to reintroduce all of this bullshit that we cast off 240 some years ago. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Like if you got cancer, you get cancer because you're a piece of shit. You're smoking cigarettes all day or whatever. And then your cancer goes away after you get treatment. You're like, you know what? Well, Probably start smoking, smoking again, again yeah. oh, Fuck, why not? That's the dumbest <laughs> shit. And you're an idiot if you do that. And we're all idiots here. Well, um, well, we, yeah, what are you going to do? I totally agree. America, so, man. So, America, land of the free and home of the fucking deranged right now. It's I've never seen a, a bigger group of just absolutely crazy people. But you are you life. are representative of the brave. No. You are the brave. I, I don't what bra- I don't care if I live or die. It's not brave to go do dangerous shit. You're brave. You know what I mean? No. There are plenty of brave people. Um so the police. Well, let's let's talk about Ghostbed first. They've got all these fucking oh, deals listen, going on. Listen, Ghostbed is amazing. Um 30% off. Mm-hmm. Uh site wide. Um I, that'll go through the end of the year probably, but I think they have a new deal starting after the after next week. Yeah. So if you're looking to buy now is a good time. You get uh if you the the most popular thing they have right now is the bundle package. The bundle so the package. bundle's got yeah. what? It's, the adjustable base. It's got the uh it's got the uh I think the Lux mat- mattress if I'm not mistaken and it's got uh you get two free pillows when you buy that bad boy at 30% off. That's not a bad deal. It's really not a bad deal, honestly. Um and they have they provide uh financing uh zero percent down zero uh zero interest financing for what is it thirty six thirty six months pay as you go pay as you no, go no interest um no interest yeah. and it's like thirty five bucks a month basically yeah thirty six uh thirty five or thirty six bucks a month they also it also has badass cooling technology yeah I've got that one the Ghost Lux I'm a big sweaty dude yeah I know man like and you um, never get hot when when we're sleeping I mean when you're sleeping in your bed. Can we edit that out or are we live yeah. here? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, no, yeah. When you're, uh, when we go back to back, I feel like that's when it gets really warm. And yeah, 
Um, but uh, but if we put one of those uh, pillows with the cooling technology, yeah, that's not a bad idea. On it too, it usually keeps us cool. We'll enough. just duct tape two of them together yeah, and make a big together. body pillow. Yeah, so and I'll draw your face on my side, and you can draw my face on your side. That's what I do. So it's like only kind of gay. It, but you know is it mean? really though? Well, it depends on what happens next, I true, suppose. True. Yeah, yeah. Right. And we'll we'll stop at that. But um, and then the other cool part is is that they're all American made. They. Um, 20 year warranty. I mean, who yeah. is going to sleep in the same fucking bed for 20 years? I have you, no idea. You'll be dead before 20 years. Yeah, I'm not making yeah, it. Yeah, you're that not far making sure. it past 20 years. So, Ghost Bed okay. is safe so on your warranty. So, I have to put that warranty. in my will then. I have to, whomever I leave all my stuff to, I have to leave the warranty for my ghost beds yeah. in there. And actually, you're leaving it to me. No. Um, I'm going to leave it to my dogs. Yeah. I'm going to do something stupid like that for sure where. Yeah. Someone, the executor of my will has to take my dogs into court. That's what I, that's my goal, just to make that happen somehow. Uh, good thing, good thing your dogs won't outlive you. No, um, no they'll be dead soon too. The, <laughs> they'll be dead soon too. Yeah. Um, and then also they have, you can try it out for 101 nights and return it. Mm -hmm. What would you do in it for 101 nights? Like what, how would, like, what would your test, like, what would your testing look like for 101 nights? Uh, you mean what would it look like under a black light? Oh uh, yeah. That's Not enough great. on that one. Wouldn't look great. All right. So go check them out. Uh, ghostbeds.com forward slash drink in bros. When are we going to get the American party? That's what we need that. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get it set up. You need to talk to him. You need to talk to him, Dan. I don't like talking to people though. Yeah. Well, so I probably won't do that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry about your bad luck, my man. Yeah. Well, you know, it happens. Speaking of bad luck. So, uh, we'll talk about the police for a bit. I'm sure you saw that bar owner in Staten Island that tried to make his restaurant bar an autonomous zone like Chaz Chop and all that stuff. Well, that worked for one day. And then the uh, sheriff's department came in and arrested everybody. Well, they arrested him, at least. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's not the first time that police in the U.S. have enforced what I consider to be what, the pen, what, what a federal court in Pennsylvania considers to be a clear violation of the Constitution, right? I mean, yeah. it's, it's been the Michigan Supreme Court has knocked this down and a federal court in, in Pennsylvania has as well. So I'm starting to wonder, and I'm getting asked a lot by, by people who watch the shows, um, what is the responsibility of police officers right now exactly? And before we get into it deep, uh, <clears throat> I'll say this is something that a lot of our people resonate with. What, what are your... What are you supposed to do if you get an unlawful order? I mean, I, right? I, I'm really, I'm really versed in this. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah, uh, I really definitely understand what what you do. Yeah, uh, you do what's right. Right. You do what you know. Um, I mean, like that's <clears throat> here, here's what I think the all these people are forgetting. Right, is, and this is what makes us different than any other country on the face of the planet. We are the only country that swears allegiance not to anybody, mm -hmm. not to one individual but to a piece of paper. Right. Like, like no, no person overrides that paper. So like when we raise our right hand and we swear in and the same thing with us, the same thing with the, you know, police, uh, any of them who, who hold this authority, they swear into a piece of paper in the law and, and, um, the constitution and that's it. And so like, you should be, if you're going to be out here enforcing laws um, and you're going to be out here being able to, if you are put in a position of power to where you can take away someone's freedom, you better know the constitution. Not just their freedom, their, all of it. their ability to put food on their family's table. Well, I mean, all of I it. I mean, that's, that, that is uh, a trope, I guess it's, it's a cliche, but that's what this is all about, man. Uh, we, we didn't kick England out of here because we didn't like the way they, they talked. We kicked them out because they were taking food off our tables. And that is at the, the essence of, of mankind. That is the one thing you can't fucking do. I mean, if you try I, to do that, any, any species that exists will try to kill you if you do that. That's I mean, just how that works. And this was the sheriff's department that did this, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was in New York. They'll uh, never get elected back in. That New sheriff York, will never get well, elected back in. Well, it's New York, man. Who knows? It's but New Staten York. Island is actually populated by a lot of police. Yeah. Um, this so, is... Well, let's get into it a little bit. Max Public House is located in what they call an orange zone in Staten Island. That means that indoor dining is banned. Uh, and the owners of Grant City Bar uh, and, and Max Public House, they, they continue to serve patrons inside. Last week, apparently the Sheriff's Department sent in 
plainclothes officers to spy on them and shit. Like, that's what the fuck you're doing right now? That's in your New biggest? York, where, that's your where, biggest? Where murder rates are up, violent crime is up, even petty crime is up right yeah. now. And you're sending people, you're sending sheriffs in plain clothes into a restaurant to make sure that people aren't eating food and this guy can't feed his family. So hold on. That's so, so first off, up. so first off, um, you could eat indoors. You couldn't do it indoors past 10 p.m. Past 10 p.m. Because, uh, you know, COVID's got a bedtime. Everybody it does. knows that. Well, absolutely. I mean, you can hear the music. Yeah. If you're in, if you're out in public somewhere and you hear the music, it's like 945, like, oh shit, they're yeah. putting COVID to bed right now. We got to yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, th this is the dumbest shit of all time. So yeah. the bar's taking donations now. Or they were taking donations in lieu of just selling booze. It's kind of a shady loophole, but whatever. I mean, basically what they were saying was, we're not going to charge you for any of this, but please give us 40 bucks. Yeah. Which is kind of like, uh, if you've seen The Wire, it's like a drug deal where you take somebody's money and send them somewhere else to get the drugs. Like, you didn't do anything to trick anybody. You just got two people arrested instead of one, fuckface. Um, <laughs> but anyways, we, we all remember sheriff's deputies uh, kicking down Ian Smith's door, his, the gem in New Jersey. Um, we've seen several other cases of this. Yeah. Uh, municipal organizations shutting off power and water to people's homes. Yep. Because they're having people over and things like that. So I, I got to ask the question, what exactly is the responsibility of police in this country? I've got some pretty strong feelings on this. Uh, so before I have a fucking aneurysm, why don't you tell me what you think about this? I mean, I think it's the same thing it's been since the day they were created, right? Uh, the same, the same, it's the same as it's ever been. I mean, you need to uphold um, to the Constitution, right? Like, you need to uphold, you know, you, you cannot, I just, I don't, like, you're going to arrest somebody, you're going to arrest somebody, uh, this is where your focus is, like, this is, like, what are you doing to make, that like did you make it safer like this is these people are out there on their free will that's yeah. freedom like they are going in there on, on their free will like uh, you know it's just it's it's uh i mean I, I it's such a dumb question right what should the police be doing they should be doing their fucking it jobs. is i mean it seems it. It, it seems simple but it's a complicated situation i mean you've been in i i don't know if you've been in, in this specific situation i believe you have i mean what's but, complicated about it well it's complicated insofar so far as you have to truly believe in what you're doing because you're going to lose your job if you do the right thing. Well, I mean, uh, you Probably. know, look, I mean, these cops right here, these are the ones, are the same ones who will be the ones that will try to come take your guns. Oh, yeah. Like, these will be the ones that... Well, I will, know how well cops can shoot, so I'm not too worried well, about I, that. Well, I got you, but but these are the ones who, if the <clears throat> a, a dumbass governor or a mayor of a city gives out a law that they're going to... It's a law that's unlawful. Right. Just because they say it doesn't make it right. No, I mean, um, if I look at they, you, if, yeah, if, yeah. I, if I if 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 you're you know, if if your boss tells you to go shoot this guy for no reason and you do it, well, you're going. We're to jail. both going you're, to jail. You're, yeah, you're yeah. both going to fucking jail. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm going to say this one fucking time. So I want you guys out there to listen up, police. It is time for you to decide what master you serve. Is it the people of this country? Is it the constitution or is it the fucking government? And if it's the government, then you don't have my support anymore. If that's how you feel about your job, it's that really that simple. This is the social contract that we've all signed in exchange for us giving you some of our money. You provide a police force that enforces the constitution. The end. Yep. Hard stop right there. Uh, I wouldn't expect the American public to support me during my time as a soldier if I was running around committing war crimes and abusing the Constitution. Well, I mean, I, right? I, like, I wouldn't expect that. And you're an, only an asshole would expect to garner respect from other people if your behavior is out of line with our standard of ethics in this country, particularly when it comes to the Constitution. If you expect to be revered as a police officer, you better goddamn do the right thing. I mean, there's no excuse for this shit. Mm -hmm. I know police came in are coming for a lot of bullshit these days. Some of it's founded, most of it's not, to be honest. I mean, it's 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 mostly a trope at this point. We we would there's no widespread abuse of power when it comes to these racial issues. The data just doesn't support that theory. It's math math doesn't lie. I also believe that there is a coordinated attack going on by the enemies of liberty to weaken institutions in this country, like masculinity, the police, the military, etc., in order to prime America for some kind of attack. Uh, we are at the precipice here. So I have to ask, what does it mean to believe in liberty? Are you ready to lose everything? 
I mean, I, I, I just, what does it mean to believe in liberty? I mean, you have, are you, you ready you, to lose everything? You, you are you ready to you kill it for it? Day. Are you, are you ready to die for it? No, and I can tell you right if, now that, that 90% of, of the people aren't. If, if, if you're not ready to kill and die and lose everything for this idea of liberty, then you don't fucking believe in it. So take that flag off your fucking shoulder because you don't deserve to wear it. You know, the problem though, the reality of the situation is, is most people don't even, don't even wear the flag. They've never had to wear it. So what, what you're saying, they can't relate to. They don't understand. Well, I'm talking about police officers specifically. If, oh, you're, if well, you're the kind of police sure. officer that will, because your fucking mayor or governor told you to, yeah, will walk into somebody's business that they're running and everybody there is there of their own volition. Mm -hmm. They're not committing any crimes. Some dude made up an ordinance that they're violating. And now you're taking yeah. this guy who's trying to put food on his family's table to jail for that. You need to take that fucking flag off your shoulder. Absolutely. You don't deserve it. If that If that is where you feel like you are best... You're, you're best used. If you feel like that is what um, that is defending and that is making uh, that area a little bit safer. Yeah. <laughs> you should for sure be done. I mean, even if it is making things a little bit safer. Come on. Give me a like, when are we, we going to stop? We've been, pretty, we we've been stop? pretty clear about this in this country. When, we don't surrender our rights when are we, for a little bit of temporary safety. But, but like, what are you talking about? Temporary safety. Mm. Like everybody's wearing these fucking masks everywhere. Right. Everybody's doing all this bullshit and the numbers are still going up. Like at what point do you feel like, like by, besides sitting inside your home and not talking to anybody ever again and not even going out and eating anywhere else ever again. Like, why do you think that this is real? Like, like, like COVID is real for sure. Yeah. But why do you think that these, that, that some mayor it, it knows like by, by what do you think a curfew is going to do? Yeah. Some incompetent fuck face. Yeah. That's ruined his city. Are you All kidding of a me? sudden came up with the fucking like, Oh, we, we've figured it out. Yeah. No, you didn't figure out shit. You've gotten everything wrong so far. Yeah. You've lost our trust. You can't even run an election properly. Yeah. You know what I mean? An, an election should be this easy. Who do you vote for? Got it. Who do you vote for? Got it. Who do you vote for? So Got it. And then you count the fucking votes. So let me ask you on the voting thing. Why don't they just audit the votes? I don't know. I don't know. Some of the things I've heard about the Dominion software specifically is that some of that stuff, even if it was corrupted at some point during the process, there would be no way to ever prove it, which means you got to move on because it isn't what you know, it's what you can prove, particularly when it comes to if, like if Michael Flynn right now is saying that Trump should suspend whatever the fuck and hold a new election under military rule. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. You're out of your goddamn mind. This isn't Egypt in 2012. We're not, yeah. a, we're not a dictatorship. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Like and, 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 it's just an unnecessary escalation. Yeah, I mean that's he, he, that that was not. He, it's definitely not going to do anything positive no. for us. No, that's that's rhetoric that just makes everybody angry. And nervous. I mean, look, look. First off, prove to us that there was voter fraud. Yeah, I mean, look. There definitely seems to be there. There are indicators that suggest something weird happened. Trump's but isn't it Trump's I mean, popularity in the in this vote amongst uh, black people and Hispanics particularly females on both of those sides went way up, but he, so these 15 million votes that he, the extra votes that he got that we didn't plan. When I say we, I mean the country didn't really plan on Biden getting, where did those come from? Yeah. So all the white males in this country who, what 55 to 60% in a given year vote Republican, all of a sudden decided to vote for Biden. That is fishy. And it's something well, that I mean, should be looked into, but I mean, didn't you Biden still have to prove what the fuck happened. Otherwise it doesn't matter. Didn't Biden, um, didn't he get more votes in Michigan than Obama did? Uh, yeah, he got more votes than any president in history, though. He got 80 million votes. I mean, nobody's ever gotten as many votes as he did. That's insane. It's insane. Yeah, it is. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? It, the Voting was made easier for a lot of people this year. Yeah, I mean, so that's that's a delta. If you're trying to do these numbers, that's a delta. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of little hash marks like, oh, well, this happened. And, and if it's explainable somehow, then explain it and move on. If it's right, not, but you could vote absentee it. any year. That's true. Yeah, I have every year. Yeah, I always vote absentee. I never stand in line. 
That's what I'm saying. So like, was it really that much easier? Um, mm, I don't think it was more people easier. Chose to go that it route. took less time. Yeah. But it wasn't easier. And I think that's a problem. If, uh, if everything was on the level this year and what we discover now is that we've been prohibitive and, and, allowing people to vote, not because of identification or this other shit. It was because of time. That's a fucking problem. That's why Australia moved their vote to Saturday. It's a national holiday. You vote on Saturday. Everybody votes. They yeah. have like, I think their last election, they had like 97% turnout. You know what I mean? We're not going to do that though. We're not for sure. We're not going to do that. You know, what we are going to do is dose up on Roman though. Man, I like, I'm going to tell you, are you on it now? Is that why you look like this? I would love to dose up on Roman. Yeah. I just I just don't know if it would go well, though. Well, I wouldn't take it and just walk around town. Wait a minute. Might get yourself in trouble. You wouldn't? Well, I do every day, actually. But, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe you don't do it. I mean, um, I think Roman's <clears throat> badass, though, because, I mean, it can be so embarrassed. Uh, you know, it can be... But do you get embarrassed? No, I don't. But people, by and large, don't want to walk into their doctor's office and be like, hey, my yeah. dick don't work, man. Yeah. It's kind of Can embarrassing, right? I mean, it's really the only thing we have going for us. Yeah. Yeah. Wieners. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, yep. uh, and I, I always tell this story. And dudes don't want to go to the doctor anyway. I don't know if you, what kind of relationship you had with your your male grandparents, your grandfathers, but uh, those assholes wouldn't go to the doctor. They they could be bleeding to death. They'd be like, yeah. send me that fucking duct tape. I'm like, oh, cool guy. Yeah. Uh, that's not, you're going to die. So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, guys don't want to go to the doctor and they're going to start making excuses. Oh, I had a long day at work. I'll go tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not feeling well. I'll do it. I'll do it next week. This way you just do it from your living room. Well, another cool part is like, a, you know, I heard a story of a guy went in and he's going to go finally built up the courage, go do it and, uh, got in there and, uh, that you know, it's like the hot nurse that always comes. Oh yeah, it's not man. The doctor, it's your, hot, it's that hot nurse he has. I, is the one that checks you out that day. That would not be good. Although I would request a follow up appointment, <laughs> right? I'd be like, hey, look, this isn't who I am. Let me come back and demonstrate my power to you when I, after I'm medicated. Yeah, I would ask for that, and I yeah. would probably have to find a new doctor afterwards. But but you now know. you don't have to do this because no. with Roman, you can get a free online evaluation for ongoing care yep. and uh, it's free. They'll uh, free two day shipping and it comes in a discreet box. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, your, your wife won't know. Your kids yeah. won't know. Your pets won't know. Your neighbors won't know. Nobody unless they get it to you. But then it's like a club, right? Yeah. You know and, what I mean? So yeah. you're good. So that's like a club. But yeah, you're, you're like everybody. They're read in, right? Yeah. Well, I what, what you could do is just use it as a stocking stuffer. Yeah. Right? It's holiday time, man. Yeah, Get yourself man. a prescription, whether you need it or not. Go out there and start dropping onesies, so, twosies. That would be a good gift uh, for a wedding gift as well. But I don't think you can get Roman and gift it. No, you're not. It's it's medication. I think that's you shouldn't illegal. give your medication I think that's away. fucking illegal. Dan. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Um, <laughs> you don't. Yeah. You don't. Uh, um, yeah. So don't but, go to jail. Uh, don't go to. Don't. <laughs> no, but basically, what it is, you go into it's it's like any other customer service line you've been on, but it's it's a chat room. You're typing to a person that's a doctor on the other end. Yeah. You're telling them your symptoms. They evaluate you. That they ask you what medication you used before, if it's worked, and they will they will prescribe you the medication that you need. Then they'll follow up with you. And if it's not right, they'll make it right. If it is right, they'll continue it. Get I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. com slash American and complete your online visit. There's a little questionnaire. Then you talk to a doctor. It's a really easy process. And, and by the time you get prescribed medicine, you get free two, uh, two day shipping. So it'll be there 48 hours later. I'll tell you this. I'm going to, I'm going to order it before the next read we have with Roman. Okay. And I'm going to take it that, uh, I'm going to take it for that episode. And I'm going to tell you Ooh. the effects. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it definitely uh, will make your uh, blood flow better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm looking uh, for. So go to GetRoman.com slash American. You get 15% off your first order uh, uh, and a free online visit. And you get free two-day shipping once you uh, order this stuff. It's GetRoman.com slash American. American. Yeah. And then who else we got here? We got fucking Manscaped. Manscaped. The like Peak Performance one. Package Care. This one is, uh, you can, have. You can have, I read it? Yeah, go Can ahead. I just read I it? love Manscaped. I, I, lo I love Manscaped. I actually have one of their shirts and it says your balls will thank you on the back. Their underwear is the best. It tell is, me yeah, that. Yeah. Tell me. Their tell me. Their briefs, yeah. Oh, they're the and best. And it's got Manscaped right on the front it too does. so you can flex on people. Yeah, like flex. Like I, I, pull, I pull mine when I'm wearing them. I pull the, uh, the where it says Manscaped Oops. above my jeans 
So that way, if I just raise my shirt like up, like Marky a bit, Mark, yeah, like you already back know, in the day, yeah, like the funky Manscaped, bunch, yeah. So I, I just love the intro. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What's the best brand for my balls? Manscaped, yeah. of course, duh. Nose pube. Hold up. Is that a nose pube? Good thing our partners at Manscaped are here to ensure you're taking care of your manhood and your nose hairs with their new performance package. Have you ever, uh, I've, I've seen it's kind of a trend now, but people put, uh, get the wax in their nose and yeah. then rip it all. Fuck that, Fuck dude. That, I'm not bro. doing that. Hey, the you other- take the, you, you take the fucking nose hair trimmer from Manscaped yeah. and you turn it on, you put the, uh, uh, the weed whacker and you put it in your nose and just do this for a second yeah. and it's done. You don't have to rip your fucking hair out. No, nah, you don't have to do Damn. that shit. Hey, uh, the other thing is, do you <clears throat> just, a, just a, uh, just a question while we're talking about manscaped, mm-hmm. do you use the, uh, do you use the trimmer? Oh yeah. Do you use the trimmer? The trimmer is the best. Do you, the, but the weed whacker. I know, yeah, but let me finish the weed whacker. Do you use it for <clears throat> your balls and then do you use it on your, like your face or the lawnmower rather. No, lawnmower. I do not lose it. Use it on my face. You don't, I use a separate one on my face. It's you not do. made for your face. I, like the contour of the blade is not made for your bro, face. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like I, if, if I like don't shave for like three or four days, mm-hmm. I'll use it on my face. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Why? It works perfect. Uh, I mean, would you wear your underwear for a mask? That's why Dakota. That's why. Uh, so the lawnmower 3.0, the, the pube tremor, I mean, it's, do you think I should order another one? It has one? three settings. No, get a, a trimmer made for your face. No, I'm telling you, the the this one's the best. It is the best trimmer I've ever used. I it's wish the they, best for I my wish face. they would make one specifically for your face. Well, if it's good enough, I think it would be the best. You should try it. If it's good enough for your balls, it's good enough for your face. Uh, mm, I think my face hair might be a little bit thicker than my ball hair. I promise you. I promise you that 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 uh, that that lawnmower would buzz through your hair on your chin like well i'm it sure it would it's a strong blade yeah it's a dual blade system and it's they're uh, uh ceramic blades too so i just wondered if it was out of whack for me to use it on my balls and then my face but i actually use it on my just face get, and then my balls just get two different ones you know what i mean yeah yeah jesus they're not that they're they're pretty affordable you don't have to have pubes on your face um and you don't want to show up <laughs> Uh, to whatever event you're going to orgy, uh, if you're putting together puzzles or whatever yeah. stupid bullshit you do. I do a lot of puzzles. Uh, yeah, I know you do. Your yeah. life is a puzzle. Uh, yeah, bro. You don't want to show up and things get all, start to get, you know, start to get sexy. Yeah. And you pull your shit down and you looks like you just time warped from the 1970s. Nobody wants to see that mm-hmm. shit unless yeah. you're trying to show it off. Yeah. That's one thing. Maybe once a year, show it off. But after that, trim it down. Nobody wants to see that bullshit. Yeah. Do you, do you, you get twenty percent off and free shipping? Yeah. Uh, use the code American at manscaped.com. It's twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code American. Uh, and I ask this all the time. What are you fucking waiting for? This is the best time of year to buy. This is a perfect yeah. that the whole kit that they sell. Such a good kit. Is a great stocking stuffer. It's mm-hmm. a great present for people. If you're looking to spend, you know, under uh, 50 or a hundred bucks. One of the items or the kid itself is a great Christmas present. Oh, so it is. It's really, stop really fucking badass. around and buy this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Gang. You know what? And go, go whack your weeds. <laughs> yeah. Whack them weeds. That's what, uh, you know, if you've got a teenage son, you hear him say from the other room, I'm whacking. It's probably trimming his pubes up. He's probably not announcing through the entire house that he's pounding off in the bathroom. I would oh. think, right. I never did that. We well, never what pound it off or. Oh no, I do that every day. I did that fucking 20 minutes ago, but we've well, been on this show for 20 minutes yeah and the camera was on you for a bit wasn't it uh so i don't think anybody's doing that is, yeah. is all i'm saying cool totally get it totally just get re- it everybody needs to relax so just go up there and uh go get you a weed whacker yeah get one those things are dope. I've, i seriously have been using it for over a year now it's amazing pubes have never looked better i really? should enter a contest it's like a well, pretty, you know what? pretty dick and ball contest why don't we do an only only fans only fans yeah why not? Only manscaped. Yeah, and we could like trim. We could trim like different. Let them uh, decide what we trim into your to your balls. Oh boy, I don't know about that. Why? I don't trust the, our fans at all to to have any kind of authority over my dick and balls. Bro, I mean, no, not one time will I allow that to happen. Wow. I know these assholes. Wow. I know wow. these ass. This this woman uh, about a month ago DM'd me and said, "Hey, you know what? My husband said if you answer this and post it or whatever." Uh, he'll buy me a horse and se- and because of that, I want you to name it or can we name it after you? I'm like, you know, I've got a better idea. Why don't we let the drink it bros name it? Yeah. What'd they end up having to name it? They named it big cums. Oh my God. Yeah. After, uh, Jack Mandeville. 
And she sent me a picture of it. He bought her the horse and it's named it comes. So like, so uh, that's why I'm saying so, I'm not, I'm, so, not if, so, I'm not letting drinking bros choose a tattoo. You imagine for have me, your daughter like going no to school and talking to the teacher about, Oh yeah. Yeah. Daddy bought mommy big comes. Yeah, <laughs> they're probably calling it BC or something. I would hope or yeah. some kind of nickname. Yeah. Hopefully. Anyways, this is another one. Speaking of DMS, this is a question I've been getting asked all the time lately. And a lot of it is, is rhetoric a lot of it is hyperbole but people want to know from their perspective from where they are in life when is it time to act now before we jump into this i want to make one thing clear america is not the land that you're standing on right now it's not a state it's not the city you're in it's not the military it's not hot dogs it's not bourbon it's not any of that shit america's the idea that the rights and autonomy of the individual when supported by government of, for, and by those individuals is the best possible solution, best possible solution to the problem of governance. So I challenge people who believe it's some source of pride to maintain 50 states or that, or that we failed somehow if we split. I'm just setting the conditions for that. I'm not saying we should. I'm just saying people have these, these ideas like somehow it's an abject failure, like America won't exist anymore if somehow we break into different parts or we, we reorganize our government or whatever it is. America is not how we decided to organize the three branches of government. That is not what it is. America is that idea. What is, what is, what mechanism is in best support of Mm -hmm. that idea? And I think we're seeing now that the mechanism we're using is not, it's not the best. There's too much centralized power Mm -hmm. and people able to use it. We didn't expect the media to become what it is. We didn't expect social media to even be a thing. Well, it starts with the people. Yeah. We the people. To form a more perfect union. union. The idea behind that statement, when people say they're constitutional originalists, to form a more perfect union, what is that? What is the implied task there? Yeah. That you should always be improving. Yes. I, I, yeah. And the union is there to protect the people. Right. Not. That's it. That's Not it. Not to control anything. Absolutely. You're there to protect. That's it. You're, you're a fucking... Uh, a block behind a like, car like, tire. Like the union's not there to make your life easier. Mm. It's not there to fix your problems. It's there to protect the people. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> like that's it, right? And and I think I think people have like misunderstood this because there's been intentions of like, hey, let me like it's it's kind of like uh you know some of these politicians have have dealt the people drugs. Yeah, like, it's, like it's, it's like a drug. Like let me, the masses, let, let me get yeah. them more relying on it, and then they won't want to lose it, right? Yeah. You you take this away, and they're not gonna you know fight us, right? Right. Um, it's funny when we back back in the nineties when uh, even fucking Clinton was doing it, when they were talking about welfare reform, people felt like they were losing something. Like no, dude, you're not losing anything. The only thing you're losing is the yoke around your neck from these motherfuckers yeah. that want to use your labor to make their lives better. That's yeah. what the, that's what government does. If you think these politicians get into office because they have some kind of altruistic feelings about the common man, you're out of your goddamn mind. These people get in because they want power. Because of they course. have ego that tells them they think better than everybody else. And it's the same condition that the people at the top have. It's the same condition that the wardens and the kings and the lords back in the day had. They think they know better than you do. And motherfucker, you don't know better than me. Gavin Newsom with your teeth, and your fucking slick back American psycho hair, you don't know how to live my life. You couldn't live my life. You would have died years ago. Yeah. You're a fucking pussy. Uh, so people keep asking me. I get DMs. I see people posting about it. There's a keep lot asking. of rhetoric. There's a lot of rhetoric going around. When is it time to act? So I ask, what do you mean by that? And the general consensus is, when do we stop paying taxes? When do we drag these motherfuckers out of their fucking state houses? Not kill them, but throw them out on the street. You're done. You're fired. Get the fuck out. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about civil war. <clears throat> there are a lot of, there's a lot of alarmists because out there right now trying to make a name for themselves and social media, particularly with hyperbole and rhetoric. But I don't even know what a civil war would look like in America in 2020. I mean, it's not going to be the what are we north do? versus fight the it with south. Our, fight it with drones? Yeah. I mean, what, I mean what, what would it even be? That isn't, that, that like is. It's not like we're going to get online. And start like you, you know what I mean? Like maybe it'll be a rap battle. The, a rap battle? What are yeah. we gonna do? We, we're gonna we're gonna see how many, who can get the most likes or something, right? Yeah. Like uh, no, it's stupid. The con the concept of civil war in America today doesn't make any sense yeah. to me. And the way when we think of civil war, we can we think of our civil war in the past, or we think of modern civil wars in uh in uh, third world countries. We don't think of anything resembling. Mm-hmm what would be an actual solution to this issue? And yeah, that's, I mean, a that's civil war would do nothing, but like, like, honestly, like I think 
whoever I think the kept control over the military would win. That's uh, it. That's it. That's it. It doesn't like, matter. The, the idea itself would not come into play. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. We built this mechanism where the idea that our entire goddamn country is founded on doesn't come into play when we're making day-to-day -day decisions about the security of our nation, about the security yeah. of our people. What the fuck? So, I mean, I, I, I think, you know, is it time to act? Yes. Uh, how you act is, is different. Is it time for civil war? Absolutely not. Like I, anybody who's talking, saying civil war or yeah. talking about it's time for civil war, I just challenge mm -hmm. you to ask them, well, what does that look like? What, what are you going to do? Jump in your, in your, in your truck and, and drive down with your AR 15. And, yeah. and I mean, what does that look like? What does a civil it, war even look like? Right. It's right. And, and, and guess what? At the end of the day, you go fight the civil war. You know, and the people, and this, this is the thing I would say back is, is the people who are calling for civil war or this or that, right? You're trying to fire people up on emotions. Have they tried to have conversations, thoughtful conversations? Right. And did, have did they, they even vote? And have they fought? Have they fought? In a goddamn war before, because yeah. that would mean something not, to me. Not did they serve the country, because <laughs> I see a lot of veterans out there who try to use this title that, oh, I fought right. for your freedom. Uh, which, I didn't fight for anybody. Uh, yeah, freedom, I didn't fight for anybody's way. freedom. Like either. Iraq was not a yeah. threat to mm. the freedom of the United States. Yeah, I don't I've know never if, walked. If anybody's still confused about that in 2020, yeah. Iraq was not a threat. Yeah, and I, I can guarantee you that that nobody I I killed or nothing that I did in any other country um, made any of you all listening or anybody in America safer. No, if anything, it made it more dangerous. Absolutely right. Um, in, my, in my opinion, so 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 anybody who's so what you're, who's you're, saying, you're getting you're going down the right road now. Because I don't like to just shoot this down. I don't like to. Yeah. I don't like to look at look people in the eye who are struggling with uh, with their identity and with the identity of the country. They feel uh, very proud of what this country is supposed to be, and they want to make that happen. And they feel personally offended and maybe even ashamed and embarrassed yeah. that we are where we are right now. So I don't want to tell yeah. those people, "Hey, you know what? You're you're out of control. Just shut the fuck up." There has to be solutions offered here. Yeah, I mean, look, I, like, like, look, go and fight a civil war, like start a civil war in America. What I mean, like you said, what does that mean? And even if there was a, a civil war, let's say that there was, right? Whatever that looks like, guns or fighting or one left, what, what against what, right? Who even knows what that would look like? I mean, but, I know what it would look like. It would be a bunch of uh, dum dums running around with guns in and not how to use. And any time an actual shooter came around yeah. the corner and saw another shooter, just the way they moved and the way they handled their weapon, they would lift their weapon up. Well, the problem is you're not going to shoot another shooter. Yeah, in I mean, we've, look, we've already happen. fought the civil war. Like we've already fought the same type of civil war. Uh, we, we did that in Iraq and Afghanistan, right? Like yeah. they'll shoot at you when you're not looking and then they'll pull their gun up and try to stay on, you know, outside yeah. of the law. Like that, that's the way the civil war would go in America. I mean, the reason America has um, never been invaded by ground troops is because the insurgency here would be abject fucking chaos. So, so my point, whomever, to you, whomever they sent over here would never make it home alive. This, this would be the civil Whether war. Whether it's Russia or China or Korea or whomever it is, they would all die. It here. would literally be a bunch of these shitheads, loud mouths. It would be three, running three around, percenters. Running around. And guess what? Everybody would individually defend their own property. That's what they the would civil start, war would and then like. it would expand. Like, hey, you're doing your thing, I'm doing my thing. Why don't we do yep. our thing together? That's yeah. how it would go. And then, like, look, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, even now. No, outside of a civil war, you should be taking care but, of the community. But that's but not a solution. That's to not the a solution to fix a problem. Like, no. So I, I, people are really uncomfortable with this word because of its connotations, uh, particularly to the Confederacy and things like that. But I could see a Brexit type event, not a civil war. I mean, there's, this is not, there's no, that I don't, maybe we're just not imaginative enough and we can't see what it might look like, but we've both been in war. I've seen, know, I've been in the middle of a goddamn civil I see, war before. I, see, I know what it looks like. I see it, the guys, like this. I see the guys who are talking about war, uh, <clears throat> civil wars. And I, I, I tell you this, if they are what, uh, a civil war looks like, um, Good luck. It ain't gonna last long. I'm just gonna stay. I'm just gonna stay in my house. <laughs> they like, they like, they look like that dude. You know what they remind me of? Every time I hear these guys talking about civil war or whatever, um, I, I always, I always think of that dude who's that big fat guy that has the the uh, all the gear on, yeah. and then he has like, like that's don't, what he's on. Like. He's on one knee and it says, "Don't worry, I'm from the internet" or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's a good yeah. Meme. Don't worry, I'm from the internet. Yeah. So follow me. <laughs> there's really nothing new about this in the US, when I say about this, I mean a Brexit type event or that dirty word secession and what does it mean, right? So uh, there have been grassroots movements in multiple states over the past, what, 
several decades. Yeah. Texas, California, Washington, a number of states have, and I think Maine was one of them as well, uh, talking about seceding from the United States, becoming their own country, whatever it is, or forming some new country. Uh, secession is not prohibited by the Constitution, uh, though unilateral secession. Most constitutional scholars believe that the conclusion of the Civil War proved that the South had no right to secede. Now, I don't know if that's real or not, but it's legal back and forth. I mean, you could just stop paying your taxes. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different ways to do that stuff. Um, it's not like Texas could just simply have a vote to leave the union though. That would, even if a hundred percent of Texans voted and said, you know what, we're done with this. That means nothing to the United States government. Uh, we still have a contract with them. Uh, there's no constitutional provision for it at all, which means there would have to be a constitutional amendment, which would require two thirds of Congress, 67 senators and however many fucking what's whatever two thirds of 435 is. Uh, or four, 438 rather. But how do, how, but, like that's but, never going to happen, right? But why do, why does, why does it take people who have no interest in the best interest of the, of the state of Texas have the right to vote on what Texas future is? Like that, like, like think about that. Like just think about how that's set up. Like imagine, imagine if we, if our listeners right now mm. didn't want to listen to us anymore and they had to have both of us sign off on them, yeah. not fucking listening to us anymore. Yeah. That sounds a little bit like a, a despotic regime, doesn't it? That is um, fucked. But th these, these people, even if, even if we did respect that vote, these people can't agree on what fucking reality is. There's no way they're going to vote two thirds on anything ever again. Well, because It'll they, never, I, mean, ever happen I promise again. you in their sick minds, they think that the American people need them. Oh, yeah. More than the American people think they need right. them. That's how sick, like, Nancy Pelosi and AOC and, I mean, you go through all of them. Like, even fucking, like, <clears throat> Mitch McConnell. Yeah. Uh, all of them. I mean, they really think they're needed. They, they are equivalent to the lords and ladies and wardens and, and kings and all this shit back in the day. That's what they th see themselves are. They think they're some kind of anointed... Uh, 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 overseer of day-to-day -day life in America. Well, you can suck my dick. How about that? Uh, because I don't give two fucks what your turtly ass looking face looks like, Mr. Kentucky. Right after it's uh, mowed by Manscaped. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. you got to drop that in there. The only yeah. option, I, I, I spent uh, the last two weeks reading constitutional law, uh, treaties, and, and, and white papers on secession and what it might look like, what the legal... Uh, recourse could be and things like that and i don't see it man honestly philip bump in uh, 2016 is a uh, uh, journalist said that the only feasible option is to sit back and wait for the american political system to collapse and then clean up afterwards he believes that's the only way to do it um that is a very we're getting close right yeah i mean <laughs> i mean i i think i think i i think you're gonna see in 2021 a bubble the bubble i think you're gonna see for the financial sure. bubble pop. but we can't allow that to happen though because think about it from a business standpoint I don't think it's think, not, think no. about it from a business perspective. If you have a business that began with a great idea and your focus narrowed over the years, uh, you would expect the winners, people who are good at their jobs, to have pivoted to what's successful, narrow yeah. their focus, focus on what's successful, and the losers would take intractable positions. I know better than you, and they would lose everything. But don't is you that, think is that who we are here? Uh, but I mean, are, are, maybe we are. Maybe we're just hard headed fucking dumb hillbillies. But we that are. We can't be reasoned with. We are. Maybe that's it. Of course, we are. Yeah, but I, I can't that accept that. We are. I can't accept that. Well, that's that's why I mean you are because every time something happens in the world, tsunamis, hurricanes, tornadoes, fucking earthquakes, terrorism, not the American government, but the American public gives more money than anybody else. They give more money than governments, mm -hmm. other governments do. So I don't believe that. Have you ever thought? Have you ever thought that like these are? Um, that we really don't have any problems that really this is just what spoiled brats yeah well like. i mean look that's antifa right <laughs> right it's it's oppression fomo I mean, but don't you think but, I mean, but, but even even even, america, shit even americans right like like well yeah i mean that's how that's what happens though you get comfortable physically you yeah. don't have to protect yourself with guns anymore you don't have to go hunt your own food yeah, you, don't you can have just to talk about fire it. you can just talk about now it. now you start to look inward and this is what yeah. philosophy is i mean in 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 the third fourth century in greece uh 
uh, or BC, that's what happened. The, the wealthy class got so comfortable that they just started talking to themselves and coming up, well, you should believe this. You should think this but, way. You should go, live there. They're back. telling mm. working slaves that they should fucking work. They should think and live a certain way. You know what yeah. I mean? You, you understand how fucked go, up that go is? Go back to tribes, though. Like, let's right. go back to tribes. Like, you had the warrior class, right? Mm. They were, like, they had to go through their journeys to earn that title, right? right. They were respected by all. Don't you think that, that some of this in America is you got people living off the credibility of others, yeah, right? Yeah. Like you've got right. them You're being able to walk honor, around. Yeah. They have no respect for mm. the freedom they have. They have, I mean, they have no respect for what has been fought and earned and built before them. Right. Um, well, they forgot what they we just, they're fucking users. They forgot what we purchased with all that blood. Well, that's what, that's my thing. Right. And, and, and don't you think that happens? Like, I think if anything, the biggest problem we have is that, that not, not the fact that, that people act the way they do. Mm. I think the problem that we have is that, that guys who earned it don't call other motherfuckers out and we can start with the veteran community. Well, I mean, I usually, mean, that. usually we're busy doing other shit, but yeah, now, but I mean, don't you think there's an get, accountability factor? Oh, for sure. Like, now, don't you I mean, think that, that, that the only the guys, only the people in the world uh, I mean, there's no accountability in Congress. There's no accountability in the media. There's no accountability anywhere. Well, how many times have you seen it where two dumb dumbs are arguing and then somebody that's respected walks into the room and they shut up without having to be told to? There you go. You know what I mean? That influence is important. Uh, so I ask this, if you're faced with the option of sitting around and waiting for it all to fall apart so you can clean up the pieces or standing up now and doing something and pivoting towards a more narrowly focused strategy, what do you choose? If you choose anything other than trying to pivot now and fix things, then you're a fucking idiot, honestly. Like if, you th if you're one of these opportunists that are gonna wait around and wait for people to get fucked up so you can you know, go grab your piece, I mean, it's basically fucking social looting is mm -hmm. what that is. You are a piece of shit if you do that. Mm -hmm. So that is what it is, right? We're very romantic about keeping America as is, particularly geographically. I don't know why people are so, and like I don't give two fucks if Hawaii is a state. I don't care, but why would that affect my life? If I can go there, I'll go there and that'll be fun. I can go to Italy too. It's not a state. Who cares? What, how, why, why do we need to have 50? Because it's a round number. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, people forget that the last two states that were added were added in our grandparents' lifetime. Uh, and now we're considering adding more. The, the bottom line is if the majority of Americans don't care, or aren't willing to act in defense of liberty anymore, then I think it's time for us to reimagine what this country is. You know, you can call it whatever you want. I don't care about the name America itself, frankly. Individual liberty is what I care about. And I'm going to live in a country that promotes it one way or another, whether I have to make it that way or not. And I think everybody should think that way. But think about this. Wouldn't you say probably the most, um, I think this says a lot about people in general in the United States. Um, wouldn't you say that probably... I mean, your marriage is by far the thing you fight for, right? It's a right. relationship you're in. <clears throat> you know, over 65% of people stay in their marriage because it's easier. Right, yeah. Because they don't we have don't, to sell the house in a bad market or any of the other reasons. Yeah. So if they can't even do that for themselves as individuals, do you think they're going to do it for a fucking country? No, I don't, to be honest. And that's, you know, it's there depressing. It is what it is. There, there you fucking go. I, what, what will happen is what we talked about. The, 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 the inevitable is going to happen. The inevitable. Yeah. The erosion of, of the uh, fabric of America will continue. Uh, things will crumble. And then people will, will, you know, take steps backwards into smaller organizations, states, cities, even just friends that live around them. So, and that's who will protect them at that point. Right? So I used to, I used to have this, uh, I used to tell my guys, um, on a sniper team uh, on my team, I used to tell them, they always asked me if they needed to get, you know, like when we were rotating on the gun, mm. um, do they need permission to ask me to, you to know, shoot to take somebody? a shot? And I always told Man. them, I said, I said, Hey, check it out. Like there's never a time that I ever requested. No. Uh, you know, don't, don't, you know, those stories I'm talking about, like people yeah. asking, well, I had to, rec I, I couldn't get permission to take the shot. So like I always told, I always, this is the mindset I always told my guys, and this is going to wrap up this. How do we know when it's time to act? I always told my guys that if you have time and you ever, ever crosses your mind that you should ask someone else, 
uh, to pull the trigger, there's probably a different way to handle the situation. Right. So how do you know when it's time to act? Well, you'll know and you won't be asking the fucking question, is it time to act? You will be fucking acting. Right. Yeah, I think if the, again, if the population at large isn't on board with free speech, indiv individual liberty, and in my opinion, the weapons to protect those two rights, because that's what the fuck that amendment's for. Yeah. Then we have to, we, we got to do something. Uh, th these are the essential and guiding principles of this country. And if they aren't recognized, then this country isn't this country anymore. So being romantic about it doesn't serve you very well. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. Uh, stop defending your party and yourself and start defending our fucking country. Done.